What's going on everyone? So it's almost the end of February and I got to thinking, what's coming out in March? So I did a little research and I just realized March is nuts. March has so many good movies coming out. Typically, we don't get movie after movie after movie, big budget movies, all that good stuff until the summer. But March, for whatever reason, we're getting it early. I cannot wait to go through these movies with you. Let's get started. Kicking off March, we have Creed 3 coming out March 3rd. Now, I've always loved the Rocky movies. I saw the first Creed a long time ago, and then I didn't really see the second one until just a few days ago. They got the, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now, Jonathan Majors coming back, you know, Kang the Conqueror. So this being a spinoff of Rocky, this could have gone really wrong. This whole series could have gone really wrong really quick but they've been solid. This is the first movie that actually doesn't have Rocky Balboa in it, doesn't have Stallone in it. There were some issues with the producer. Stallone said, I'm not working with you, I'm out. But he gave Michael B. Jordan his blessing because this is his first time behind the camera, you know, and this is a big deal for him. I think this movie's gonna be pretty cool. I think that the first two were really good. Rocky's good. Why not? This one's for all my horror fans out there. Scream 6 is coming out March 10th. And the cool thing about this movie is that the fifth one was actually surprisingly good. I dug it. Now, Scream 5 came out a little over a year ago. That means that Scream 5 came out, they greenlit the script, shot the whole movie, and now they're giving it to us in March. And that is pretty wild. Taking a page out of Creed 3's book, this movie, Scream 6, will be the first movie in the whole franchise that won't have their leading lady. Nev Campbell will not be back as Sidney Prescott for the first time in the entire franchise due to some, you know, behind the, the scenes issues. Based off of Scream 5, that whole cast, I think that we're in a good place with the franchise. They're shaking things up. They're giving us new things, a new setting. Ghostface is in New York City this time. I think there's a lot to be excited about as far as the Scream franchise goes. Yes, this movie could not be good, but based off of the last movie, I think we're in good shape. March 17th, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. This is the first DC movie of the year for all my DC fans out there. This has Zachary Levi coming back. It's got the cast coming back. It's got the kids and the adult cast coming back. It's got the same director. All that is so important when making a sequel to one of DC's best movies and overall just one of the most fun movies that you can watch. No word yet on whether or not Zachary Levi will be continuing as Shazam going forward, you know, with the whole DC rebranding, but at least we get this sequel, at least we get him one more time. This one is long overdue. March 24th, we finally, finally get John Wick Chapter 4. This movie was supposed to come out years ago. When this movie was announced, so was Matrix Resurrections. That dumpster fire got released first, this one didn't, the scheduling just did not work out, and then COVID happened, so it got pushed back even further. Well, we're finally getting it in March 24th. Based off of the trailers, we're getting more of the same, and that's not a bad thing as far as John Wick is concerned. Give me more of that action, give me more of those practical effects, give me more of those you know, great choreography fight scenes, give me more of that. Cannot wait, March 24th. Finishing off this insane month of March, we get Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, coming out March 31st. Now, full disclaimer, I have never played D&D, but this is a big movie, big budget movie that would typically be released in the summer. It's being released in March, so I had to throw it in there because it's going to appeal to a lot of people. This movie, I think, has the potential to be a lot of fun. Now, will it be good? I don't know. It has plenty of star power with Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, and Hugh Grant, just to name a few. Also, the two directors that wrote Spider-Man Homecoming and Horrible Bosses, they also wrote the new Flash movie that's coming out. So they have a decent resume. What the end product will actually be, who knows? but at the very least, it'll be fun for those that play D&D. Whether you're into fantasy, horror, action, whatever it may be, March has something catered to you. Let me know down in the comment section what you're most excited about as far as March goes. Are you excited for Scream 6? Do you think they'll do good with that? Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? How does this movie look to someone that's played the game? Well, let me know down in the comment section. I hope you all like that video. I hope you all go see something in March because you know I will be there giving you my full review of a lot of those movies. So until next time, see you later.